What's up guys, it's Nate. I'm going to do another honest review for you guys um, today on the MacDev Prime. Uh, first of all, I'm a little dirty. I apologize. I work in an iron foundry. I just got out of work and this is the time that, uh, the only time that I can find to do this review for you. So you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, let's jump right into it here. Um, I, I rate these markers uh, in 10 categories out of 10. And at the end, um, you get a score out of 100. Um, and it's just, you know, a lot of it's personal preference in my opinion. So you can take everything with a grain of salt, of course. Um, but you, that way you have a way to compare how I feel on all the markers that I review. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, the first category is packaging. Comes in this nice, uh, you know, pretty standard case for a uh, new high-end marker. Um, zippered case. Um, it comes with a nice little parts kit. It's got uh, extra detents, O-rings, some lube, some extra screws, which is kind of cool. Got a, comes with the Shift 2 barrel system. It comes with two inserts, a 693 and then a 685, which is currently in the marker. Um, comes with a nice color manual. Um, Pretty decent size, you know, fairly detailed. It's just really nice. And then, of course, slot for the marker. Everything stays put pretty well in the case. Um, so packaging is a 10 out of 10. Uh, you can't really expect too much more in terms of packaging when you buy a new gun. So moving on, um, the looks. So pull this thing out. Um, it's a pretty sharp looking gun. I'm um, giving it a 7 out of 10. I always thought Mac Dev guns kind of looked like just a tube with a grip frame attached to it. And their grip frames are, you know, pretty much always been the same. Um, but they did spruce it up and gave it some nice uh, milling lines and, uh, you know, angle the foregrip a little bit. Uh, a little bit of milling on the ASA. Um, the grips have a little bit of a, more of a design to them than just rubber. So, 7 out of 10, they're going in the right direction with their, you know, their aesthetics, but um, it's not, you know, the coolest looking gun that I've ever seen in my life, so. Uh, shot quality. All right, 8 out of 10 on that for me. Um, it's pretty smooth. Um, kind of quick, kind of like a little thud to it. A um, little bit of feedback. Do not a lot of barrel rise, but it does give you a little bit of a most like a little vibration every time you shoot it. Um, so when you're shooting it, it does kind of vibrate in your hands a little bit, um, but it is pretty smooth and um, you know, I like it. Um, ergonomics is the next category. So for me, this gets a 10 out of 10. And it's just for me, the way I hold it, I'm a pretty big dude, um, you know, almost six foot tall. Of course you can see I'm pretty husky. Um, but it's nice and stretched out. There's a ton of room in here. You can, I mean, I can fit, you know, inch and a half in between here almost, or, you know, an inch at least. And so, you know, you can grab it around like this real easy. Um, I like to hold it right where it gets a little bit fatter on the body. It's really nice right where I rest my thumb. That's how I usually shoot most markers anyway. And it just, it's dead on for me. Like when I pull up to shoot, I mean, I'm shooting right where I want to shoot. It's just, you know, dead on accurate for me as far as ergonomics, the way I hold it just is super comfortable and um, it works for me really well. So 10 out of 10 on the ergonomics. Um, reliability, so MacDev's had a pretty bad rap in the past and I, you know, anything before the Prime, I would be pretty suspicious about. Um, I've seen a lot of clone fives that, you know, People buy them used, need a solenoid, need the regulator rebuilt, whatever, you know. Uh, I've seen a lot of problems with MacDev, but they seem to have remedied everything with this Prime. Um, I've never had a problem with this. I've had it for maybe a, a little over a month now. I've used it a handful of times. I've shot it a lot. Um, I know the previous owner, and he's had it for quite a while as well, and... Um, it shot great for him. Never had any issues with it at all. Um, so, 
what they did is they put a new solenoid in it, a newly designed solenoid. Um, put some updated parts in the regulator, which is actually in the grip frame. And uh, of course the new infinity drive bolt system. And with all that, it's super reliable and they're claiming that you can uh, put any tank on it. It used to be MacDev was low pressure tanks only. Um, but this they claim you can stick a you know 800 psi output tank on it and it'll be perfectly reliable and shoot just fine and I believe it um, I've seen a video where they were talking to the the dude from Mac dev and he says we have techs at all the NXL events and they don't work on these I mean they will but they just they never have to and so that's pretty cool they're really really solid markers and everybody that I've heard from that's bought them um, and used them say, you know, no problems. They're really solid. So that's good. So reliability is getting a 10 out of 10. Efficiency. Efficiency on this thing is pretty good. Um, it's no G6R. It's not shooting a case of paint off of a, off a 77. But, I mean, 12, 13 pods. Off of a 77, I believe, is what the, the average, uh, what Mac Dev's claiming. And that's that's quite a bit of paint. That's uh, that's pretty good efficiency. So it's not the top of the top, but 8 out of 10 is a pretty good score. So that's what I'm giving it. You know, I can run 4 points, 5 points in a row with this. And uh, not have to fill up uh, with a 77 tank. So uh, pretty good. Uh, so next, build quality. I gave it an 8 out of 10. So... Um, it, it's pretty solid and it definitely feels solid in the hands. Um, you know, everything works pretty well. You know, the back cap and the, you know, easy out bolt system seems pretty good. But one thing, one small gripe I have is that these grips, they, they clip into place and it kind of seals it, makes it almost watertight, which is good. But right here on the grip frame, this metal right here where this grip clips in, is is pretty thin and I could see it bending or breaking um you know if you're taking the grips on and off or owning the marker for a long time and doing that you know quite a few times I could see that it's very very thin aluminum um and when you when you pry the grips and pop them off they actually you can see that aluminum bending and um that's the only real issue I have as far as build quality um I think there's a few more features and stuff that they could add to it, but um, what's really cool though is that it's a completely wireless grip frame. So you just take the two grip frame screws out and you can slide the grip frame off, do whatever you need to do, slide it back on, put the screws in. There's no wires or anything you have to worry about pinching or pulling uh, when you take the grip frame off, which is cool. But uh, yeah, so build quality, eight out of 10, pretty, pretty solid. Uh, serviceability. Just telling you about the uh, wireless grip frame, which is pretty cool. Um, easy out bolt system. You know, you just lift the back cap, slide it out, twist this apart, lube it, you know, clean and lube it, slide it back in, clip it back down. Um, serviceability, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 as well. Um, the regulator is pretty simple. You take the grips off and everything just comes out the front of the frame uh, with, uh, I think, one Allen key. And it's super, super simple. There's no complex parts in the regulator or anything. Uh, same with the bolt system. And then, of course, the wireless frame is, is pretty cool. So 10 out of 10 on serviceability for me. Um, anything that you need to do um, is, is pretty simple. Upgradeability, so here I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, mostly because it's pretty solid just as it is. Um, there's not a lot of upgrades that you would really want to do to this at this time. Um, the only thing that I think people would like to have that, that's not out is different shaped triggers. And this trigger is really, really good. Um, and most MacDev triggers have sucked before, um, to be you know brutally honest. This one has no side to side play. Um, you know, it's you can there's it's really adjustable. There's four points of adjustment. You can adjust the tension, the activation, pre-travel, post-travel. Um, so it's a great trigger, but there's no other like it'd be cool to see like a deuce trigger or even like a rake trigger. 
just just made for just for you know people that prefer that and then um what else uh you know colored grip kits would be cool they released that for the clone 5 um and they haven't released that for the prime yet so these grips are a harder rubber um almost plasticky but i really like them um some people don't and so you know they feel really well but i could see different colors or maybe a softer grip option for people that would prefer the softer grips uh would be nice but they don't they don't offer that uh so upgradability eight out of ten takes auto conquer thread barrels so um you know barrels you can upgrade but Really, beyond the barrel, there's nothing that you can upgrade on this marker. Um, and there's not a lot that it needs. Maybe the trigger, uh, like I said, the grips could be, you know, different grips. Um, but that's, you know, maybe different color kits if they wanted to. You know, the eye covers, back cap, frame, barrel back, and uh, feed neck or whatever. But, yeah, upgradability. There's not a lot out there, but there's not a lot that you need to upgrade. So, 8 out of 10 for me on that. And then programming, um, the OLED board is pretty good. Um, it has laser eyes. You can see the laser eyes. Really nice OLED board. Um, nothing crazy like the M2 or anything, but it does have quite a bit of uh, adjustments, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so programming is an eight out of 10. So if you add all those up, that's 87 out of 100, which is a pretty good score. Um, I'm really happy with this thing. Um, almost sad to see it go, but um, just, you know, getting more markers for reviews and, um, you know, just trying to wheel and deal and see what I can do. Maybe someday I'll get another one. This is definitely something that, you know, down the road, um, I might consider getting another one. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this really, really nice marker and I, I would recommend it if it's something that you're interested in. Um, so 87 out of a hundred compared to the other markers. So the last category that I'm adding to new thing for these videos is value. Um, it's November 30th, 2018 right now. And these are going for about 600 bucks used. And I, I think there's still like 13 or 1400 new. But, um, you know, the 1400 new is pretty good compared to, you know, you get two barrel backs and all that stuff. Um, so it's pretty comparable to what the M3 is coming with. I think the M3 might have a few more features and stuff, um, as far as the marker goes. Um, but used about 600 and it's pretty good value. Um, the thing about MacDev is a lot of their markers, maybe this won't because it's so successful uh, compared to their, their last models. This is, you know, trouble-free. Their last models, they had quite a few issues and updates and stuff. But um, value, I'm giving a 6 out of 10. Um, you know, in a few months, maybe uh, these will be, you know, maybe after extravaganza, depending on what, you know, everybody comes out with and stuff. You know, these might be down another 100 or $200 in the used market. If I could pick one of these up for $400, um, yeah, I'd, you know, that's that's a solid value right there. But for for the going rate right now, and especially the new price, I think there's probably better place, better ways to spend that money. Um, but I'm super happy. Like, I would shoot this all season if I, if I wanted to or if I had to or whatever. Um, and, and I would love it. So as a performer, it's great. Uh, Mac Dev's used, used value usually isn't that great and their value kind of goes downhill pretty quickly. So, uh, that's why I gave it a little bit lower score on the value. So thanks for watching and here's a quick shooting video of it.